Hey now Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Abundance Amplified Tarot. I am actually coming to you from my car today. I'm in the middle of doing some moving stuff. So bear with me on the setup, but let's get in. I'm doing a five card draw here for you from past position into potential future outcome. One unexpected card popping up here for you. Let's get into this reading. In your past position, you have an upside down temperance card. I feel like you guys are coming out of a period of real frustration, not understanding why things aren't working. Um, I feel like there's been emotions all over the place. You know, it's hard for a lot of our air signs to understand the emotions and to integrate them and know how to process them. I feel like um, a lot of the air signs are used to pushing them off, blowing them off, right? And um, at this time of our global uh heightening of awareness you know we're all every single sign is being called to face their strengths and weaknesses and and level up okay and what i'm hearing here aquarius is this has been very difficult for you um and you've been not been showing patience to yourself or others okay and you need to kind of do that all right, so let's flip this temperance card around for you. Notice the earth's angel energy here, okay? That is in your past. Let's pull the good stuff forward. In your current position right now, you have the star. This is your card, Aquarius, and it's in the reverse. What this is telling me is you are not giving yourself enough credit, and I don't mean financial, materialism, that kind of thing. You are not giving yourself enough credit for your capacity for growth here and understanding. Um, I don't know whether it's fear-based. I don't know whether you just don't want to deal with this stuff. I don't know what it is. It could be even a karmic obstacle, a karmic block. Start to show yourself compassion here, Aquarius, because you need to come back into this star energy. If um, you need to do things to remove these obstacles, make sure that you're powering through, not around, okay? If it's a personal struggle, if it's something that you need to clear up, um, if it is an outside obstacle, maybe you don't have to go through it. Maybe you need to go around it. It's not all about warring. It's not a competition. That is specific for somebody. I am seeing spirit say, this is not a competition. This is about you. So you really have to look deep into yourself and what's best for yourself right now. All right. In the unexpected position, we have the devil showing up here. Okay. Okay. So this tells me that you are really facing a lot of either emotional, behavioral, or karmic loops right now. Um, and it's basically spirit is saying to you, are you going to take the bait? Are you going to keep doing things the same way? Because it's up to how you react, how you act. Um, these loops could keep coming at you as, and the same loops, just different faces until you start to change your behavior, until you start to change how you deal with these situations. Always come from a place of integrity. Always come from a place of organic authenticity. Learn how to speak your truth in a valid, graceful, calm way is what I'm hearing. That's that temperance card again. So basically, you're going to be facing a lot of traps that you will recognize that you have gone through before. And this is the opportunity now for you to test out of the course, right? Like this is the opportunity now for you to pass this test so that you can move on to bigger and better things. In your immediate future, we've got the Six of Swords. You will be receiving clarity. This is the card that shows me that your spirit guides the universe is trying to move you forward to clearer waters. And I'm actually going to put that over that devil because it seems very intimidating to me right now with the energy that I'm getting for you. Okay? This is all an opportunity. Everything is information. Okay? Your spirit guides, your higher self, want you to learn these lessons and move on to calmer waters. This sixes are the cards of balancing after a struggle. All right? in your immediate future potential outcome you've got the queen of swords this shows me that your divine feminine aspect this is your internal divine feminine every single one of us has a divine feminine and a divine masculine you are setting boundaries in a graceful way that's why it's coming up in the feminine it's bottom line boundaries but it's also in a graceful way where you are nurturing and taking care of yourself and your kingdom. Okay? The next card out for you 
is the chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer here. This cancer, uh, this is the card of cancer. And basically you see the white and the black horses, the yin and the yang. This represents two extremes. Um, this is a card about moving forward in your unique balanced way through the middle, not going to one extreme or the other. Okay, that has to do with a lot of things on a lot of levels, you know, how we critically think. Um, if we have dogma or religions or, you know, stuff that's maybe antiquated, doesn't fit into our alignment right now. We're shedding all of this stuff to be able to make our own unique voice heard. And we need that. Every single one of us um, has our unique perspective and our unique gifts. So as you follow this path here, as you learn to set these boundaries and take care of yourself, you will be moving forward in a balanced way. There could be a cancer that is helping you to understand how to do this. I also have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Again, you are not seeing what a gift and an opportunity this is. This is about passion. I feel like some of you are dysregulated and it's preventing you from major opportunities. I feel like this has something to do with your past. You might have suffered trauma in your past that needs to be dealt with here so that you can see the gift, the gift that is being offered so that you don't keep repeating. You're not understanding that you are starting afresh with new eyes is what I'm hearing. And what I'm hearing is it's about working smarter, not harder. Like the reason you don't want to keep doing these loops in the same way is because you're not that same person. That was then, this is now. All right. I do see some of you have been doing a lot of hard work spiritually. This is also going to affect your money. It's going to come in better. You will boss up on the masculine as well with these boundaries, but again, in a very balanced way. The King of Swords upright is a very balanced, very fair character, okay? He's not malicious, divine masculine. There is no gender, right? That aspect is not malicious. It does not seek out for revenge. It lets source and the, you know, it lets the world do its thing, but it takes care in integrity and takes care of the kingdom in integrity, Ace of Cups in reverse, you need to flip that around. This has been divinely given to you. This is about learning how to love yourself. This is about integrating those emotions, air signs. Aquarius in particular, this is how you're going to be that star. I'm really hearing to say, Spirit wants me to say, you're complaining about not being happy and you have so much. So if you have all of these things around you and you're still not happy, that means that it's something internal. Spirit is giving you this opportunity to make this happen so the rest of your life can be happy no matter what is happening around you. You need to learn to be happy with yourself first. Take good care of yourselves, Aquarius. I hope this has been helpful. Take care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.